Uh, this is Paul. I'm sitting here. It's about 6.30 in the morning. And uh, I didn't get any phone calls. <laughs> and I thought I should call you because uh, I'm sitting here waiting for somebody to enforce the laws. <laughs> now, it's one of those situations where it's kind of drizzly out. It might even rain today, and then I'd have to stand up for most of the morning. And... <laughs> That's always irritating, not a, being able to sit. <laughs> but, as I had thought, <laughs> you decided you weren't going to enforce the law, didn't you? <laughs> you thought, no, as long as we're obstructing his rights and we don't enforce the actual laws of the United States, <laughs> it's his problem because we don't have to enforce the law. Oh. Uh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. Woke up at 6 a.m. Sleeping on an air mattress where I was looking for a hole in the mattress. For some reason, it doesn't have the air pressure. Yeah. Then I got to think it could be the air pump itself. No. There was a corroded battery. One of the D-cell batteries has corrosion all over it. <laughs> and when you think about corrosion, yeah. it must have been sitting outside. Some moisture got in there, and all of a sudden, it's... <laughs> not producing the amount of air that I thought it was producing and that's why it's not having the air pressure. <laughs> so the nice part is it's probably not a hole because it did hold air all night <laughs> but I didn't sleep very good because I can't uh, roll over <laughs> and as frustrating as it is. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to try to find a dollar. <laughs> you know I have 70 cents in my pocket I don't have enough money for a coffee refill. <laughs> Now, you might not be concerned about my finances, but I'm concerned about yours. <laughs> Did you sleep in a bed where you could roll over without uh, being stuck in the middle of it and having to experience uh, half of the comfort of having a bed? Because it's better than sleeping on a hardwood floor, but it's, <laughs> it's really not that good. <laughs> and you're thinking, well, I, you, you have a nice bed. <laughs> Well, there's a thought. Thank you for that. <laughs> you know, I had purchased two Tempur-Pedic beds while I was married to Heidi. And, you know, they're one of the more expensive beds. I think I paid about 2500 for each of them. Ooh. <laughs> and I haven't had a real bed in a very, very long time. <laughs> you know, when you're not concerned about my comfort, I'm not concerned about yours. <laughs> now... You might not think that it would have been important to allow me to speak to my sons, but <laughs> you happen to have violated the laws of the United States. Is your personal comfort more important than mine? Now, when was the last time I was able to sleep in a comfortable bed? <laughs> I had slept on a bed when I was house-sitting, but the spring somehow... <laughs> had a spring that that it wasn't that nice of a bed oh it was well <laughs> if you didn't sleep right you could <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> and then before that where was i oh i was in jail for 27 days do you remember that experience <laughs> you ever slept on a mat in a jail cell knowing that you should not be there for a failure to appear because <laughs> Your public defender wouldn't give the evidence to the judge that you weren't in Squim, Washington. You know, it is a frustrating experience when I don't have any comfort in life. And <laughs> I'm spending time in jail for a failure to appear for a request from Judge Porter to explain why I missed a mental health evaluation. <laughs> when I'm thinking to myself the whole fucking time, well, you know what? <laughs> I wasn't in Squim, Washington. So if you looked at the video surveillance camera, you would have had no case against me, poach. Now these prosecuting attorneys and these public defenders that think that it's so important for you to have comfort in life, I wouldn't have spent 27 days in jail because I wouldn't have to have it explained to Judge Porter why I wanted to reschedule the mental health evaluation if somebody in the police fucking department right now